you finish a character. Now you want to rig it. You watch a tutorial and you start adding all the bones. Then you start naming all of them. And then you have to set up the arcades by yourself. If you want to have custom shapes, you just have to make them yourself. This takes so much time and it's wasteful. You don't need to spend all this time rigging your character. All you have to do is position the bones and weight paint them, which only takes a couple minutes. And then you have a perfect rig that works well. So how is this done? Using a free add-on built into Blender called Rigify. All you have to do to get it, just go edit preferences, go to add-ons and then just go search and then type in rig far and then click on the little box to enable it and that's all you need to do now let's hop into the pc and let me show you how to use it to rig your character all you're going to need to do is go shift a and then go armature and then basic human so you can go for the more, more, more complex one it has like a face rig and hand rig um, but i'm going to do this for now the simplest way to position all these bones is this so what you're going to do at the top you see we have this little icon over here so if you go down and change it to volume and then you can just click this little magnet also if you want to see all the bones just go to the little armature tab this little stick man and go in front and now all you have to do is select a bone make sure you have x mirroring in the top right and then just press g and now it will start snapping your bone to the center of your mesh as you can see right here it is positioning everything right now if we just go like select these bones in the middle just do there just go like g shift x so it's not moving side to side g shift x g shift x g shift x just go side view and uh, here and then it's the head bone and you can see this just positions the bones so much quicker than if you move them by hand and now we go position just pressing g and it automatically snaps you can see we have already rigged our character and as you can see all these bones already have names on them so you don't have to spend time naming every single bone okay cool so once you have that done we have all the bones positioned all you have to do is go to the armature tab with this little green stick man and then go click uh, generate rig all right so we can hide this middle one and then let's test this out to see if it works properly you can see if we select this middle body you can see the legs bend forward which sometimes it doesn't happen so yeah be careful sometimes just redo it i don't know the past like three times i've recorded this it hasn't worked um yeah you can see now it's working but we have obviously need the body to follow the rig so what do you do you just select the body then select your rig go control p and do automatic weights all right so now if we go select the rig you can see the body starts moving with it so like this and then let's if you have any problems with it you just have to work with the weight paint a little bit just select the, the, the object go to control tab weight paint and then we can go open up this tab all the way down here just go to the green triangle and then we can find it so like uh shoulder dot l or upper arm dot l and then you can like add more and then see if it changes it at all um you can see like this so you can kind of change everything you can tweak it all if it's not working how you would like so let me show you how to use this whole rig so it's pretty simple you have a couple different things so on the right if you press n it'll pull up this right tab and it should be under like rig layers so usually you'd want to rig in f uh, to work with rk so rk is basically this little bone if you select this over here for the foot and you press g you can see it moves the whole leg like this I can actually stretch it as well, um, but you can change that on and off. I'll show you. Um, this is better because you can also select these green ones and use them, um, which are very annoying and don't really work that well. So I'm just going to go select in the top, the bottom right, just go leg L, uh, FK. So you deselect these two. So just turn off those two and the root uh, that went off for some reason. Whenever you select a bone, it will have these settings for it on that bone. So you can see all of these over here will have all these settings. If we select this, you can see we can go like this. And then if you want, you can click on like one of these and click on toggle pole. And then what these do is that basically you can choose where you want the knee to point like this. So that's how you use the leg. And then you also have these little blue like adjusting things. So if you want to like adjust a certain point individually, so that's just there. If you want, you can also turn those off. It's just uh, the tweak ones. So you can just turn them off over there. And then you have this one, which is for the body. Uh, just does the whole body. Um, and then I'll put it in front so you can actually see everything. You can see there's a bunch, all these blue ones are like a bunch of tweaks. So you can see like this one to tweak the whole upper body. I think if you turn off torso tweak, yeah, you get rid of them. Um, so you can keep those on if you want, um, but yeah, it's up to you. Then you also have uh, same thing for the arms. The RK is not working, the FK isn't working. So just turn that off because who wants uh, FK? I think you just go, 
Okay, so if you want to use RK, I mean, if you want to use FK just like this, then you just go to like the RK, FK, hand L, just like that. And then select the other one, uh, RK, FK, hand R, and you can see it like this. So I'm just going to turn it off because I don't like it. And then hide them just with these things over here. So my keyboard is bugging out, but yeah, I sort of like these tweaks. I'm going to turn them off as well. Um, but yeah, so it's very simple then. You just have like the hand and then position the whole hand like this. So yeah, you can just go there. You just have the neck one. Um, also the tweaks for the neck like this. If you want to do stuff like this, <laughs> uh, top of the head. So I think it's that's to do like the whole head. Uh, shoulders, pretty useful. You need to use those. Um, so on you have the whole like upper body so you can do there um, and then you have the pelvis so you can like make them dance like this um, and then you also have I believe if you select like the legs you can see we have an RK stretch if you do this you can drag left and right and basically what it does is if you see I can drag it all the way or I can take this to zero and now you see it just like doesn't go with it so now you know how to rig your characters and do it well but now you need to learn how to animate them so click over here to learn how to animate.